welcome. I am Jess Kempmans, guided by Equus, and I'm here with your horse wisdom healing message for the week of August 10th. Behind me I have my um, a father and son duo, Noche and his son Magic, and there's a feeling this week of, um, I want to use the words having knowledge of something, and I finally feel like I'm kind of back on track with who I am and I guess if that resonates with anybody um, and I'm standing here behind these two for an important reason um, first of all you don't normally get on the ground down around horses secondly you don't position yourself behind them and probably the biggest part of this would be um, with two stallions especially a mature one and um, a younger one there could be a definite battle of power um, but that doesn't exist here because um, it feels like that's the theme kind of for this week. Because as we find ourselves, there's no need for these outward experiences um, of having to help change us, having to help us see what it is that we need to experience. Um, and of course that's always happening and actually has been a really prevalent thing in my life in the last couple months which led me to just shift back into the things that made me happy um, because I did really feel quite lost and if you listen to my August the Horse Wisdom Channel podcast I kind of dive a little bit deeper into that and what that is all part of um, and I guess what it is all part of what was going on for me in my world um, is really not knowing who I was and feeling lost. But when we feel lost, it's because we're not tapping into an aspect of ourself. And so this entire summer, whether it was because of COVID or because of who knows what, it could be multiple things. Um, I really let go of trying to be there for clients and bless all of you who still searched me out um, when you needed support because it was you who kind of kept me believing in myself um, but at the same time it was also me immersing myself back into those experiences that I think I've been craving for quite some time and I'll say almost a couple years and it was just getting back in touch with my horses on a level that really felt like when I was younger um, where I would go and just um, hang out with them and not you know, not have to be in the space of facilitating or tuning into something for someone else because that just felt overwhelming at this point. Um, and so what I realized is as I was doing this, I was actually, what they have kind of been wanting me is like this evolution of relationship. So getting back on, riding them, um, playing with them, just being in the space with them. Thank you, Magic. Um, in a way that integrates them as different herds and, and more experiences and, and not, um, not wondering what's going to happen, but just doing it and taking an action and, and seeing what's going to happen. And so these two, for sure, I put them together and I've had Noche with Chief and those were two brothers who were a three and a five-year-old stallion. And I've had Noche's sire, Cece, in with Coast. And so I've been doing this for a while, but there's always a level of anxiety of what's going to happen. Um, and I put these two together and it was just this mentorship and friendship. So I also talked about that mentorship in last week's um, weekly video, I believe. But it's mentoring ourselves um, and doing those things, taking action on those things that make us feel good. Because if we don't feel good and we're saying yes to things that don't make us feel good, or we're focusing on some sort of future outcome, then we're missing out on the present moment. Oh, I'm just gonna shift here, because that's what it, we need to do, is shift to what feels good. So it didn't feel good to not have them in the picture, um, so I shifted. And what I realized over this time of doing these videos, and people actually watch them, is that I could do them professionally or I could do them in a way that um, maybe is more appealing, but that's not congruent with who I am. That's not in alignment with who I am. 
and it's not in alignment with what these guys do because they are bringing a huge they're bringing the horse wisdom piece of it to this and I am doing it in a way that feels right to me and so if it's all not organic in that um, in that circle of things it's not going to be authentic and you're not going to resonate with it and so I feel like that's really what I guess this entire year but especially this week is bringing us into is what is something that we have maybe not been doing that we really really long to do or crave to do or want to do that lifts us up that really just gives us an experience of being so connected to who we are that it doesn't really matter what else is going on because as soon as you do that you create this vibration within yourself um, that that uplifts others around you and ignites you like it fuels your your flame inside you um, as well as actually attracts people to you so if you're and not that we maybe all want to attract people to us but when you are an attractor it's because you are fulfilling your own needs first um, because you have realized what is most important to you and I talk about streamlining our lives in this August podcast and I feel like that's the basis of it when we do those things that really we really 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 want to do um, and we let go of the fear of what others are going to think or how we're going to show up or what we're going to look like to others um, I guess again kind of like these videos there's so many different ways I could do them and they're bouncy and they're kind of not professional but they're mine and they are part of what all of my of who I am in this world and I guess what you would call this work is is because it's organic and it um, is sentient and it comes from all of the aspects of my environment also sharing the message through these videos and if I wasn't outside and if I wasn't <laughs> holding my phone um, I wouldn't be able to talk with my hands either which is something that I that when I'm really expressing who I am that's what I do so I guess that brings us in a full circle back to this week. Take time to notice what it is that you've really, really longed to do or something that you're not allowing yourself to do because you're wondering how people will respond to it. Just do it. Just go and do it and see what happens within you. Um, because I'm sitting here out in the sun and I have my bikini on and I put a shirt on and I realized I could do this in a way that appears more um, pulled together and um, and professional but that's not who I am I'm I'm just this person that um, is here and is part of this world that is so natural um, because that's what feels right to me so that is the message for the week from myself and these guys here and so just take a deep breath um, and let that kind of pull you and ground you into a space where you know exactly what it is that you want to go and do. And then if you need a little support to be able to be like, I just need to say yes to this. How do I say yes to this? Um, get in touch with me and I'll help you. So much love for myself and the herd this week. And I'm super excited to see what August is preparing us for and bringing us into because it's the rest of the year, which all of a sudden when you realize summer is almost over, um, there's a shift into fall and a shift in into something that's changing for us. And we can either embrace that shift or fear it and resist it. And then it's going to be that much more challenging. And it will be less challenging when you know what it is that you really love and long to do. And if you take that time to go and do it and experience it, it actually gives you so much input as to what is next. And so that's how you find your own next step is by um, tuning into yourself. So much love from myself and these guys here. And I look forward to sharing next week's wisdom with you.